Hey guys, welcome to Janine's Gluten Free Kitchen, where we make all things gluten and dairy free and super yummy. And today we have Sarah back with us. Hi everyone. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Yes. <laughs> and we are keeping with the theme of all things sweet and a bit Christmassy this time. We're doing a trifle. That just reminds me of the 70s trifles. Has it been around for that long? Yes, it's yeah. been around longer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But we are doing a gluten and dairy free version. We're going to start with and make our own sponge for the bottom, a vanilla sponge. We're going to make some uh, homemade jelly. <laughs> Have you had homemade jelly? No, I haven't had homemade it's jelly. It's really yummy. We're okay. making it with an right. organic um, pomegranate juice. Okay, you have yeah, okay, I'm with you back, I'm back on track. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then fresh berries. Okay, I'm with you. A dairy-free custard and okay. a dairy-free cream. Alright, I'm here. We are so here yeah. and we are looking forward to making that together. Yeah. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Hey guys, if you are new here, hit the subscribe button and... Ding! Doesn't it do that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't miss any future videos that we bring out each week. And I gotta tell you, you don't wanna miss them. This food is amazing. So ding, 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 ding. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's get cooking. So we're gonna make our own vanilla sponge to begin with. Well, spongy cake, vanilla cake. And what we're gonna start with is some eggs. Ingredients all below in the description. And today we are be going to mixing it all in the blender. In the biggest cup I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Massive, it's huge. This is some serious cake bake. <laughs> now we are using xylitol as a sweetener because um, you know, trifle can get very sweet. So I'm looking to reduce that sugar wherever I can. So we're getting the sweet taste without the mega carb hit. And xylitol, you can just buy that at the supermarket, can't you? Or health food stores? Health food stores, uh, I rarely see it in a supermarket, okay. but it just depends on your local supermarket. Okay. Got some avocado oil. Avos. Love avocado oil. And vanilla powder, but you can use vanilla essence. I like the purity of vanilla powder. No sugar, no alcohol, all good. And now we're going to whip it. I wanted to break into the diva. So I know, <laughs> I know. I, in my head it was going. Yeah. <laughs> whip it good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. For about 30 to 60 seconds. So this is making it a little bit light and fluffy and well mixed, but it's also helping the sugar dissolve. So your Excellent. cake isn't gritty. Don't like gritty cake. No. Gritty's for the beach, not for your cakes. Exactly. And for the kitty. Uh, got some baking powder to help raise and the good old fashioned almond meal. And again, we're just going to give that a quick mix. Could you do this by hand if you don't have a mixer? Uh, yes, with a whisk. With a whisk. Yeah, okay. and you just you have to whisk pretty hard. With those muscles. Yeah. Ready for Christmas. Mm. Oh, you've got a bit of muscle there. I know. Yeah. yeah nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yeah, no, fork wouldn't be enough. Fork wouldn't be no, enough. You'd okay. need a whisk. All right, fork's not enough. Maybe you can get those hand, those hand beaters from yeah. your, your, from like Coles or Target or Woolies or whatever, um, and they're like twenty or thirty dollars. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right, it might, cool. it's definitely worth investing in yeah. one if you want to do a bit of baking. Okay, that's it. Great. I know. Sorry, did I take too much off that whisk? <laughs> Oh yeah, I can't lick that. I know, there's not enough there. 
All right. So, as with most of our cakes, what we've done is lined it with some baking paper or parchment paper, just so it doesn't stick. We are going to pour it in. I'm just going to give it a bit of a final mix because often the um, the edges and the very bottom don't mix so well with the big bowls. So, all right. So this is going to form the base of the trifle. Yeah, okay. exactly. So where all the berry juices get absorbed into. Mmm, berries. Are you a berry fan? Yeah, I'm a berry fan. Mm. I berry berries. Yeah. Now, it's if nice you texture, isn't it? Like runny. Yeah, and yeah, this one does self-level, which is great. Um, I have used a quite a big pan for this, and the reason being that I want my cake to be quite thin for the bowl. We don't want it so high that. I mean, you can do it high, but then you'd have to cut it into pieces. Okay. And my aim with this is to actually just do it as one big round, just for ease. So I've opted for a slightly bigger pan, and it's going to cook nice and even and a little bit lower. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that is now going in the oven, 180 degrees Celsius for only 25 minutes. Easy as. Easy as. All right, so we have made our vanilla cake which as you can see came out lovely. It's, uh, it doesn't rise too much, but we don't need it to. So we've got a beautiful spongy vanilla cake and uh, we've got all our bits and pieces that we're now gonna assemble. So what we also done, as I said, we made our own jelly, which was basically a process of putting gelatin in with the um, pomegranate juice and then setting it overnight. And that's it? That's all it is. No sugar or anything? No, because the, okay. the, the juice is already sweet enough. Okay. Um, and that's a really great way to know that your ingredients are like really clean. Mm -hmm. And you can actually make it vegan as well by using agar agar instead of gelatin. So you can do that. Awesome. So I've got my jelly that I've made the night before. We also have our berries, chopped strawberries and some raspberries underneath there. And I've got some whole strawberries. Beautiful. For the top as Great. well. <laughs> and some nice pretty cherries that are going to decorate it. Who doesn't love a cherry? Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> now, in terms of the custard and the cream, I'm all for finding good quality products that shorten the process. You don't need to be over a hot stove all day. Not in this weather. Not in this weather. Mm. In any weather. Yeah. So I have tried a coconut pre-made coconut custard, which was really nice. Yeah, yeah, we tried, we tested it before and we both liked it. Yeah, so it's a good idea to test these things before you go making a whole recipe out of it, but we found it was pretty good. So um, alternatively, if you can't find something like that, you can make your own. You can also get a gluten-free custard powder from your health food store and then make it with a nut milk of your choice or a coconut milk or something like that. So you can keep it dairy-free. Now, in terms of the cream, again, I have found a coconut whipping cream, which is slightly different to just the tin of coconut cream, which is just pure cream and that separates into the cream and water. The coconut whipping cream has a little bit of gum and emulsifier thrown in, and it just gives a much stronger whip. It's whip. <laughs> So that, and it tastes really yummy too. And we've made it kind of as a, a Chantilly cream, which has a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of sugar. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty <That's> good. good. <laughs> so now is the time to assemble all our bits and pieces. So as I told you, I want to put in the cake base. Cheaty, cheaty. I was wondering how you're going to do that. Like that. I'm going to take this away. I should trim it properly because I don't think I got it all the way through. Oh, did that bit fell off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that bit fell off too. Oh. 
Obviously the cake tastes nice. Yeah, cake's good. And we are going to put that in whole. Squish it down. Just gonna leave, give a really nice layer. So I know when my mum used to make it, what we should do is chop it up into little bits and pieces oh, yeah, and then kind of fill in all the gaps, which you absolutely can do and is, is a good strategy. But I kind of like having the one. You could do this in two ways. You would traditionally, you would put your fruit in mm -hmm. and you would pour your unset jelly on top. Okay. And it kind of, you know, macerates the fruit and goes into the um, sponge. But uh, because we've made our, spun our uh, jelly earlier, I actually want to do it the other way around because I just like it like that. <laughs> so this is a soft set jelly. It's not super hard. And what I'm doing is just cutting it into little bite-sized pieces. That does kind of look beautiful. Pardon? I think it's kind of beautiful. Yeah. I kind of picture trifles as kind of like kind of mucky, yeah, mushy, things, mushy yeah. kind of stuff. But I reckon this one's been pretty specky with all the colours. Yeah, absolutely. So the nice soft jelly makes it a bit nicer to eat. <laughs> and as I said, we made this from pomegranate juice. Where's your spoon? Oh, I ate it. You. That's all right. I'll get you another one. Okay, I'm doing the jelly taste test. Yeah. All right, here we go. See how different just, it is from like the jelly wobble thing. This is like weird. Like normal jelly. No, it's not. Oh my god, for all your jelly haters out there, this is the bomb. <laughs> now we're going to sprinkle our berries. Very good. She's doing a very good job, isn't she? <laughs> Thanks, miss. <laughs> I love the colours, like that really dark purpley of the pomegranate and then yeah, the berries. Absolutely. Got our raspberries in next. It's a perfect Christmas dish, isn't it? Because you've got all these fresh fruits of this kind of season. Absolutely. I mean, in Australia, a trifle is so traditionally Christmas. Mm. Um, yeah. It has sort of lost its fa flavor, uh, flavor, sorry, in recent past, but I think it's because it was made with like, you know, aeroplane jelly and um, <laughs> stodgy stuff that we yeah. don't like, obviously. <laughs> Anyway, so we've got that beautiful layer now. That just looks extraordinary. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, it does. Tastes delicious. Now we're doing our custard. So just very gently. Don't be tempted to put it all in the one blob in the middle because that'll make it really hard for you to spread out. So. It's worth attention to detail, isn't it? That really, it's the love and the care that you put into cooking. That's what I really enjoy about your cooking. Thank you. Yeah, it's a bit of an art, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Mm. And it's not rushing it, you know. It's it's been sometimes if I'm in a rush, I just go, ah, oh, that'll do. And then it's like, well, no, that's not right. Like, it's beautiful how you do yeah, it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I don't like rushing food. I find, honestly, if I rush, it does not taste the same. No. I know it's weird. You just eat rush. You eat rush. <laughs> That is true. Mm. Yeah, the quality is not the same. No, it's not. No. So, I mean, based on that, if anything, you should just make, rather than trying to squeeze more into what you have got time for, find a recipe that works with the, the, what, what you can do mm. and then give that really good attention. Mm. So that's our custard. Now the cream. And the cream, as I say, it's a little bit firmer because it's whipped. So take your time spreading it around. The other thing, some people tend to go a little bit nuts at this point because they go, oh, there's so much space. I'm just gonna fill it with cream. And then it becomes just a horrible mouthfeel of lots and lots of cream. I think that's how I remember trifles. 
Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And you have no. to kind of like get right down to the bottom where the nice stuff is. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't want too much of the stodgy cream. The cream is beautiful, don't get me wrong. You need it as part of the, the assembly, but not too much. So let's make it look pretty now. The strawberry is similar sizes around the edges. So you just wash these and then just chop the tops off them? Yeah. Cool. Very simple. Standing to attention. Hello. <laughs> strawberry, here mm. to serve. <laughs> And then I might put one in the oops, one in the middle. Oh, that's so Christmassy. That was like a trillion bucks. Fantastic. Try and keep the stems upright because Obviously with the pips in them, you want to be able to just grab it and eat it and get rid of that stem. Just like this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Here we go. That's it. That's wow. our gorgeous gluten-free, dairy-free trifle. That looks amazing. How sensational is that? But you're keen to try that. Sarah's going to have to wait. She's going out for lunch. She can't spoil her appetite. Dessert. <laughs> uh, yeah, dessert after lunch. I'll come back for it. <laughs> and that, the great thing about that is you can make that a few hours ahead of time, like in the morning, and then it'll be ready for later. And there you have it, guys. Our beautiful, gorgeous, gluten and dairy-free berry trifle. It's very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> If you've enjoyed this recipe, which I'm sure you have, hit the like and send us your wonderful heartfelt thank yous and messages. We love hearing from you guys. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That's super important. And make that cake for Christmas. Because like Christmas desserts, I mean, that just looks beautiful. And Christmas desserts are often quite stodgy and et cetera. Like that just, it's light, it's gluten, it's dairy free. It won't feel you, you know, you won't leave feeling really bloated. No. It's a beautiful dish for Christmas. It so is. Perfect so timing. is. Actually, any time. Yeah. Actually, any time. Yeah. You make it any time. It's yeah. awesome. Guys, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for coming by. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for letting me hang out on Janine's Gluten Free Kitchen. See ya. See ya. Do some flossing. I don't know actually how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you talked to me through <laughs> We've got some eggs. We've got some sugar. Sugar? Yes. Yes. 180 dough 80. <laughs> there are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Serious face. <laughs> you know, before you came, I said, Sarah loves dancing. Because he heads up. <laughs> you may see him break out in spontaneous dancing. <laughs> see? Good Send us your heart wealth. Well, <laughs>